So welcome if you're joining us today. I would suggest if you have a dog or a pet that you would like to do this with, you're welcome to bring your own pet. Otherwise, you can focus your attention on Cooper. This is Cooper, a therapy dog. So what we're going to do is a guided meditation practice with Cooper. If you have a dog, bring your own brush and some dog treats. And we'll get started. So take a moment and just take a breath. You can keep your attention on Cooper or you can focus your attention on your dog. But just observe and look at Notice your dog's breathing. Notice the color of the dog's fur. Just observe. Paying attention to your dog's movements. The sounds they make. your dog's fur. Maybe it's curly. Maybe like Cooper's fur. Your dog's fur is straight but shiny. Observation. 
You can move your attention to the shoulders. Focus to the ears. Your dog's ears sticking up, laying flat. Do they flop down like Cooper's? Are they fuzzy? Are they shiny? Just notice. Noticing your dog's eyes and eyebrows. If your dog is awake and looking at you, notice what color your dog's eyes are. If your dog is asleep or resting, Notice their eyebrows and their closed eyes. How content and calm they might appear. You can go down the bridge of their nose. You can look at your dog's nose. Maybe like Cooper, they sniff in the air a little bit here and there. Now bring your attention down your dog's back and see if you can find their breathing. Just observing their breath their belly and chest moving in and out. Take a moment to see if you can match your breathing with your dog's breathing. a shift inside of yourself as you attempt to breathe like your dog. Noticing the difference of your dog's pace of breath than your natural rhythm. You may choose to move between your own natural rhythm and following your dog's breath. Take a moment and see if you can find your dog's heartbeat. Much like the heartbeat of a human being, your dog's heart resides underneath their left side. So 
find their heartbeat on that left side of their chest. And just keep your hand there for a moment. Just noticing the natural rhythm of their heart. Whether it be fast or slow, the smaller your dog, the faster the heartbeat.
And if your dog doesn't let you touch their paws, that's okay. Be respectful of the boundary that they're setting with you. Animals are extraordinary teachers of boundaries and connection. So notice the body language of your dog as you pet them. See if you can pick up on what they like, what they don't like. Notice what feels soft or comforting to you as you pet your dog. Cooper's face and ears are especially soft. bigger like Cooper can just grab and release not squeezing hard just a gentle soft squeeze noticing how your dog responds this is one of Cooper's favorite ways of being touched
can make small circles. These touches are called Tellington touch or tea touches. Different variations of petting than we typically go to. massages. even as you're watching Cooper notice your connection with Cooper just observe practice if 
you brought some treats along for your dog. dog a few treats. few treats is a way of saying thank you. You can give your dog a hug too if you want to. 